Hey guys, so today I thought it would be fun to make these super easy and delicious oatmeal cookies. Alright, all you're going to need is some brown sugar, which I already put in the bowl, some white sugar, butter, two sticks, milk and vanilla, flour, oats, um, cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And then you're going to need whatever toppings or stuff you want to put in it. Alright, now you're just going want to want to put both of your sugars in, brown sugar and your white sugar. Then you're just gonna want to put your, a cup of softened butter. And these are not softened. I get a lot of times that like I never take them out in time to get them room temperature. So I'll show you a hack so you don't have to. Let's go to the, the microwave. All right, so you're just gonna wanna put them in this off for 10 seconds on the bottom. Let it go. Alright. Now you just flip it to the other side and put it in for another you can do it for seven seconds. Then you're just going to want to put that in. Put that in the bowl. One. And two. Now right about now you're going to want to set your oven to 375 degrees. So let me do that. is preheating. Now, we are going to use an electric mixer to mix this up. So I'm gonna speed it up for you so you don't have to see that. So let's go. All right, I stirred it up pretty good, but now just to make it softer, you want to put in your milk, your egg, and your vanilla extract. Let's speed things up. All right, now if your, if your batter is a little bit, um, or firm, you're gonna wanna add more milk. So let me go do that. All right, I just finished whisking in my two tablespoons of milk. So here it is so far. It looks pretty good. But now we are going to add our cinnamon, our salt, our baking powder, and our baking soda. All right, so you're just going to want to put that in. You can just mix it up. This should be super quick, so I'm not going to do it fast. All right, it's well incorporated. Now, off to the flour. All right, so you're gonna need two cups of all-purpose flour. There you go. I would recommend putting the flour in first, but you can also put the oats in first. 
gonna want to put this on slow. Let's speed things up. All right, now you're gonna want to put your oats in. So, you, I am using old-fashioned oats today, but you can use whatever oats you want. And you're just gonna want to put three cups. one cup and then I'm just going to roll that up. second cup. Now for the third cup, the last cup. I'm just going to put a little bit extra just so it gets a lot of oats because I really like that flavor. extra batter off of this, just turn it on and it'll come right off. All right, next, toppings. All right, so I really like to put chocolate in mine and I have a few extra chocolate chips, so I'm just gonna put those in. But then if you don't have enough, which I obviously don't, you can take any type of chocolate bar and just smash it. I like to do this a lot because I sometimes don't want to use my chocolate chips or just feel like they, or I don't have enough or I just don't really want to use them. Just smash up any type of candy bar. You might not want to hear the smashing, so I'll get back to you. When you have your chocolate bar all smashed up, you're just going to want to take your bowl. You're going to want to cut open your chocolate bar. Put it in a bowl just to make sure that it's all smashed up. Oh, wow, that's pretty good, I would say. Try to get every little piece of it. And if there's big pieces, just cut them down. Or if you like them that way, that's fine. I like kind of small pieces, so yeah. All right, so let's just keep doing this. I'm just gonna keep doing this for a few minutes and then I'll get back to you. All right, so I thought I would tell you a little bit about the other toppings that you can put in here and then we'll keep moving. 
So you can put a chocolate chips, mini chocolate chips, white chocolate chips. Um, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. Raisins, um, nuts. Um, you can do what else? sprinkles. Like really anything. You gotta be creative with it. And now you're just gonna want to mix it up a little bit more. Get it off the sides. And I still have my Hershey bar. I'm just gonna put them in little, or in the ones that I do want chocolate and the ones that I don't, I'll just leave them plain. They are really good plain. And I kind of like them better plain, but you can put whatever toppings you want. And remember, be creative. Put your own special toppings in it. And have fun. <laughs> All right, now go wash your hands because now we're gonna start rolling them. All right, I, would, I thought I would just show you how to make, or how to roll a few of these. You can use a mini ice cream scooper, but I'm gonna use my hands because we don't have a mini one. So, you just take a little blob, and you just start to roll it till it gets a nice and glossy look, just like that. And then you're just gonna put it on your baking pan. Make sure to grease the pan or put some parchment paper. All right, let's speed things up. So I just finished the first batch of cookies. Well, I didn't bake them yet, but I finished rolling them. So let's go to the oven and put them in. So I just finished the cookies, and I will try them now. They're really good, especially when they cool down. If they cool down, you can put it in the microwave for eight seconds. And also put the cookies in for 10 minutes. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time.